Hello, I'm Suggs from the popular music combination Madness. Such a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> right, we're here to talk obviously about new album, new single. If you would just want to tell us all about it. Yes, we made a new album. Um, it's been about five years in the making. Um, it's a very slow creature now, Madness. Only because there's seven of us and we're kind of scattered around the world a bit. But we'd had a plan for some time to make a new album, but just coincidentally it happens to be the 30th anniversary of the first record we ever made, which was handy. Um, and um, it's called The Liberty of Norton Folgate, the album. It's, um, it's primarily about London. It's about our lives in London, really. I mean, as really most of the songs of Madness have written are. But, um, yeah, and the single off the album, the first single is called Dust Devil, and it's just about a kind of wayward girl who's having a rather enjoyable evening. Um, uh, um, that's one way of putting it. But, um, yeah, I think we've made a pretty good video for it with this great director called Adam Smith who did all the streets and um, did skins, actually, a lot of great stuff yeah. on the television. Um, he got Jamie Winston, um, who's a great actress, and Alfie Allen to just reenact this idea of the song which is just two kids out in the West End but it was really funny because we just made a cameo appearance it's, it's a load of old dars that's waiting for a cab we turned up about half two three in the morning and it was filmed here in Soho just to her it, it, all I could hear was her screaming like hey, mom, from the top of her voice which was a rather remarkable sight in the middle of Soho it was transvestites coming out of clubs trying to work out what the hell was going on as you say you've been going for 30 years um, what do you think about the fact that the specials have just come back um, I think the Specials are a really great band, you know, I mean, obviously we have a huge connection with them. I mean, without them, we probably wouldn't have really got where we are. You know, having made a record on Two Tone, which was their label, our first record, The Prince. Um, yeah, I mean, I was talking to someone the other day, I really vi vividly remember when I saw a picture of them in a, in a music paper, I couldn't believe there were people who were so like-minded with what we, we just thought we were in our own little bubble. And they came to play in this pub called The Hope and Anchor, which we used to hang out in. And, um, Is that Islington? In Islington, at the Angel, yeah. It was it, you know, it, amazing, really, because it was so many bands. I mean, like the Pretenders and Dire Straits and the Enduri and all, so many. But it only held 40 people. It's really hard to. It's like it's bit, going back there now is a bit like when you go to your school and everything looks so tiny. You can't <laughs> imagine how 40 people could even get in there. But um, have you met her? Because obviously she's one of Camden's most famous residents, isn't she? Even though she's moved up to High Barnet, hilariously. Yeah, I, I think she's great, Amy Winehouse. But the last time I saw her, actually, I met her in the street. I don't really know her, but yeah, of course I see her around in Camden. But. Um, I'd been out for dinner with my family and a couple of friends. I was walking up the road and I saw Henry, the owner of the Dublin Castle, said, oh, there's a secret gig with Amy Winehouse tonight if you want to come in. I said, oh, great. So I said goodbye to my family. I said, it won't be long. It was like half 11. Of course, cut to three in the morning before she came on stage. And, um, but what I remember, funny enough, was I came staggering out sort of sideways. And it was like, Suggs, king of the Camden Caners. I thought, Jesus Christ, it's, it's something when you're actually out doing Amy Winehouse, isn't it, at my age? I said, the cameraman must have been wonky. I was absolutely straight as a die when I came out of there. But I think she's a great artist, isn't she? What a phenomenon. I think she's absolutely fantastic, yeah. yeah. Just a shame she can't keep it together sometimes. But she threw chips at me in the Hawley Arms once. You see, I'm just bitter about it. Ah, this. yeah, well, you would be. Yeah, yeah, you would be. Especially if there wasn't a gherkin with <laughs> But, yes. But uh, that would be an amazing collaboration, though, wouldn't it? I, I'm liking this. I could see that. I could see that. I know what you're on about. Well, because certainly... she's got a bit of that scar thing going on as well, hasn't she? Yeah, you know, we both have a love of kind of slightly retro sounding mm. music for sure, and, and sort of real kind of music, I think. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Mm. A lot of people with the current sort of situation, politically, economically, are saying it's almost getting back to like it was in the 70s. And of course, you lot formed in 1976. I mean, what do you think is going on at the moment? Is the recession affecting you lot or anything? Look, I'm just glum, Suggs. Look how unhappy he is about that question. I'm going to throw <laughs> chips at you in a minute. Um, yeah, yeah, it's tough, isn't it? It was a bit strange, you know. I mean, it's not, um, um, not, you know, nothing planned. But it's funny that, like, when we started, there was a recession in the 70s. And, um, and you had two-tone and all that. And then in the 80s, we had another revival. And that was like the beginning of rave music and all that. And again, we seemed to be coming at the right time. Not the right time. I mean, you know... It, things like, do get more creative, though, don't they, when there's something to kick against? It's the only way you can look at it, you know what I mean? Because if you don't, you get depressed and fed up. So, And also Madness's role in the whole thing is to come and cheer and, you know, and try and liven the dull days up a little bit, which seems to be happening again. But I, I totally agree. I think something really fantastic is going to happen culturally in England out of all this stuff. I really feel 
in the way that no one expected punk or where it came, suddenly, suddenly it just happened. I think something really like, multicultural is going to come out of London that people aren't expecting, and I don't even know what it is yet. Well, that's the beauty of it, exactly. isn't it? I mean, I think some sort of multimedia thing or something's going to happen. I think, yeah, something very exciting.